Hello everyone and welcome to Boss TV episode number one. Uh, today we are honoured to have a Boss legend in our presence. She came to Boss for the first time age 10 in 2013. She came in 2014. She came in 2015. She came in 2016. She came in 2017. She came in 2018. But then she moved to America to go to school. So I'd like to hear more about that right now. So I'm going to Welcome to the call, to the Zoom call, Miss Ina. Hello, Ina. Hi, thank you for having me. It's such <laughs> an honor and pleasure. How, how are you? I'm good, good. I'm good. As, as good as I can be, like, with COVID. But. Good. And you've been safe? Trying to, yeah. Uh, how are you? Yes, excellent. Thank you very much. Um, right, Ina. I think you're probably the best person I can think of for a first interview, having experienced boss so much and having so many experiences. Um, so you probably have quite a lot to talk about. Uh, I have an opening question. My opening question is, and I've, you see me looking over here, it's because I have the question written down. My opening question is, do you remember any of the lyrics from any of your house songs over the years? Of course I do. Okay. I think next. there's like a, a little <laughs> of a mess. <laughs> My next question is, can you please sing one of those songs for us? Yeah, I'm trying. The, the fun thing, the only one I remember is the banana song right now. That's like the one that pops out in my mind from Jules, not from you. I'm oh, sorry. that was two, that was 2013 or 14? Yeah, 14, I think. And you remember it after six years? Yeah, because sometimes I go on YouTube and I listen to it. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> There's one song that I remember uh, specifically in my head quite often. I'd, there's probably a video somewhere, um, but every now and again, once a week, even as often as that, it pops into my head. The Kipling House song from 2017, maybe? The one that goes, we are the girls from Kipling. Our house is the best. Best. Yeah, that's... Oh! I think, I think that was the one I helped to write, yeah. I think uh, you did, because Baby I remember, from Justin Bieber, oh, there's so many. I remember when you arrived, you and Maya were like, we already have the house song written, don't worry, we'll, we'll tell everybody what it is. Yeah, <laughs> when anyway. it was, our house is the best, something like, and we don't like losing, we're better than all the rest. All the rest, what yes. in the house points, we're gonna win them all. Kipling girls are amazing, we're gonna have a win ball. Them. Yeah. Oh, beautiful, arty, smarty, something. You remember it better than me. <laughs> that <would> be <laughs> because, <laughs> because I have Alicia, my sister who went to Boss, who all the time sings, Oh, girls are smart and strong and yeah, beautiful. Be That's why like, all the time I have it in my head because she oh. all the time sings it. I'm like, yeah. I remember so many songs, but particularly now you mentioned the Oaks Girl song. That's going to be in my head for a good while. Um, next question, what have you been up to? I've not seen you in person since 2018 when you featured in the Boss video, um, which I've seen now a million times from my job. It's a very big part of my life. I, count I love that you video. Because I come back to you. Uh, what, have you what, what have you been up to since 2018? Um, well, since it was basically the summer after I went to Boss, like a month after it, I went to study in the U.S. And so now I study in the U.S. at a high school, a boarding school, um, planning to get into Harvard. Well, that's kind of too much, but, but, <laughs> but I'm trying to. Oh, it's always better to have big goals. What, uh, what do you want to study? I'm not sure yet. I'm really interested in business, law, um, even theater. But probably more like business, something Oh over my there. goodness, Harvard, that would be impressive. Uh, yeah. You'll be like the people of Suits. Have you seen Suits on Netflix? Yeah. You'll be like yeah. Jessica, whatever her name is, um, the, the lady who owns the law firm. I can't remember her name, Jessica something. I'm very impressed, I must say. I, I hope I get it. I don't know. It's only 5.2%, but when, it's not hard for something when, else. When will you find out? Um, so right now I'm in 11th grade and so right now I'm in Russia because I'm stuck due to COVID, but I should be coming back in two weeks. Um, and uh, so 12th grade, that will be fall or winter of 2021. Next year. Yeah. 
I hope you remember us when you're in Harvard. Of course I will. Good. Nothing, <laughs> nothing would happen in my life without Boxwood, to be honest, <laughs> if I think of it. <laughs> That, that's, that means a lot. Um, all right, next question. Do you remember your first ever moment in Boss? Yeah. Um, I remember it was my dad, uh, first time, who drove me there. And so I remember, like, the gates, um, really vividly, horses. Mm -hmm. and, oh, my God. And the, and the building, schoolhouse building, because, um, like, like, very old, very... I am historical and I remember looking at it and I was like, oh my God, this is Hogwarts. I'm in Hogwarts. And <laughs> yeah, I remember that. That's like the first moment. Very impressed. Really uh, impressed. Do you remember like what happened when you, do, do you remember walking through the doors? How did you feel? Yeah, I think first time, I think it was in the, in the building. I'm not sure it's even up. Oh, now. I know. I remember, yeah, 2013. Yeah. The welcome the room with the music block yes. in the middle of the school. Yes, so that was the place. And I remember like my dad filling out some papers and I was like, oh, I just want to get to my room. And uh, yeah, and then I remember walking into the room and then I was like, I was just, I love my parents, but I was like, oh, when is he going to leave? Like, I'm, I want to be like here alone, having fun. <laughs> so even, yeah. even age 10, did you, were you quite independent? Were you like, did you feel, <laughs> how did you like, how did you feel in those first moments? Or if you felt a bit nervous, how long did it take for you to sure. feel relaxed? It was, Cause it was just in general, first time I went away from home. Like I've never been to any camps before. And uh, fun thing, like it, it was um, like a language school kind of thing where I went and they had a brochure. Mm -hmm. Like um, I think there were agents or something. And so we started applying for them, but then I went alone with like independently from them. But I saw the brochure and I was like, oh my, I want to go there. Oh, I need to. And my parents were like, oh, this is such a nice uh, wish, like study English. And so, yeah, I came and I was a little bit nervous. Probably not a little bit. I was nervous, but more happy and excited. And I mean, first three days, it's always first three days that like homesickness, even right now, like whenever I come back to the US, I'm always like three, first three days, um, really miss home. But then I kind of got used to everything, knew all the buildings, kind of because um, I was also given a tour first day, mm -hmm. but sometimes I was like a little bit lost, but I still found my way. And um, yeah, I was nervous, but then it all went away. Yeah, and that was impressive. When, when Alessa came for the first time, your sister, how old was she? Oh, good question. I think 10, yeah. But she's like very different from me. She was more like, she was more nervous, for sure. Last, more the last summer, 2019, when you weren't there, Alessa came into her own... Because the first year you were there, so she was always oh, okay. my big sister. Um, 2019, last summer school, because we didn't have one in 2020. Um, she, she came into her own, you know, she became more confident and uh, yeah. it was nice. And everybody kept talking about you to, to Alessa. They were like, oh, Alessa, your sister, I know. I was like, guys, let Alessa save her own path. Let, let, let her be her own person. Everybody for the first few days was constantly comparing her to you. And I was like, just let, let her be her, an individual. <laughs> it was like, oh, I know this, I know that, blah, blah, blah. Um, do you have any advice for people who are walking through that door for the first time? Um, yeah, my advice would be, even if you feel nervous, it's a, it's a natural feeling. Just don't let it stop you because it's always kind of exiting your comfort zone, especially when you're a kid or a teenager leaving home for another country, even for like a couple of weeks. But don't let that feeling kind of um, stop you because once you come there, once you like settle in, it's all so much fun and like you don't have a time to be upset or homesick. Yeah. Um, another question, which isn't on my piece of paper here. Can you remember your level of English in your first year at the age of 10? Mm. Do you, do you understand a lot or do you remember moments going like, what, what's happening? What, what, what are people saying? Uh, I remember, like, I understood, but at the same time, oh, like, a lot of things were kind of, because it's still the speed, yeah. you know, language. And um, I remember one thing vividly, one of my friends, she, like, she had to take her medicine or, like, eye drops. Mm. Um, and I didn't know how eye drops were in English and her English was really little. And so I was helping her out and I just remember it was, 
don't remember the name, but I was talking with a staff member and um, uh, she was asking me about medicine and I wanted to say that she already took the eye drops, but I didn't know how to say it. And I was like, um, cup, 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 cup. And like, you know, you kind of have to come up with ways, but sign language is still working incredibly well. <laughs> Yeah. Do you still remember how to do a Russian accent when you speak English? Oh, oh yeah. Because there's, um, there's a video from 2014, I think, so your second summer. Uh, there's me and Becky, and you <laughs> and Anastasia. It's like a, an American themed thing, and you're like, Neil, who is it Neil? speaking with a real accent and it's just changed so much over the years yeah. this are you american now kind of accent you know nobody would know that you're you're not yeah. um okay but i watched some videos like from two years ago or like three years ago more, because i was watching a lot of american youtube and that's where like kind of the shift happened but yeah. before like i had more of a like it was going into the british way like maya my best friend my roommate who i met in um boss she has a very British accent, like very British. Yeah. She's been in the UK for a few years now, hasn't yeah. she? Yeah, <laughs> same, since 2018. Let me just see if I can do this. I was looking for some evidence of your uh, presence at BOSS. This is the first ever photograph I could find of you at BOSS. It's not 2013, because I couldn't find any. There weren't many photographs from this uh, year. So it's from, from 2014. Oh! Now, what's happening here in this picture? Because that's not your name. <laughs> yes, I think Nastya, she didn't like, she didn't make her a uh, door sign and I came prepared. Uh, <laughs> As always. I, yeah, I think I have the sign there for my <laughs> door. This, this sign? Yeah, no, no, no. But I came with a star, like you know how Hollywood, like in Hollywood, at least in the movies, they have this um, stars on the changing rooms of like celebrities with their names on them. Yeah. And so I decided to be like cool and make one of those. And I came prepared with that thing, but that didn't like do anything. Uh, well, it, it, she wasn't supposed to, but I'm like really artsy and I love doing all of that stuff. And I was like, hey, do you want me to make you one? And so she was like, sure. And so I, I made her one. Very good. So there you are with a different name. That's the only, that's the only picture I could find from the first, um, couple of years uh, yeah, I, mean, I have something but i'm not sure like yeah i think i think there was one picture um i remember one girl she had um she, her mom came and she took a picture of us she, that girl from for, from rome i don't remember a lot and i asked her to email me the picture but she didn't unfortunately still waiting yeah you should ch months. change it up have you got my picture please um i, I never got the email from her so, um, we've just spoken about uh, when you first arrived at Boss. Do you remember how you felt when you first left Boss? You've left Boss six times. You've arrived at Boss six times. I guess arriving is always similar, excited. Ooh, what's going to happen? Yeah. Who will I meet? Um, but you've left Boss six times. Now, six times uh, is a lot. And I guess when you leave, you always have different emotions, different feelings. So, um, how did you feel like in general when, you, when you've been leaving on your way home? Um, very upset, particularly the first time or like in general all the time. The first one in particular, right? Uh -huh. Oh no, any, uh, any, just in, oh, in, any in, of them? In oh, in general, sad, always sad. Uh, first times it was less sad just because I was like younger and so it was more getting like more homesick. Mm -hmm. But then last like four times, like three, four times, I was like crying and it was really sad time. Yeah, even I feel sad when, when people leave. It's like, come on, don't leave. And then we play the song. It's been a yeah. yeah. Um, from all of your experiences with Boss, what is your most powerful memory? Hmm, well, I remember one pretty, pretty good one. Um, my first uh, slow dance. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, because um, I really like this boy and I asked him for a slow dance um, with um, the song from Titanic by Celine Dion. Oh my God. I will go so, on. So that one. 
Yeah, and then and then another one is last time when we were doing a play uh, for our class, and I was the Rapunzel. And um, well, it's one of the fun, powerful one, but I I really love it. And uh, uh, no, it was oh the film. Oh, I have so many, <laughs> but that one was like a play. So we're doing it in a sports hall, and they like our teachers from somewhere. They got like a hair band with a with a braid. It wasn't really long, but it was like long, like a Rapunzel one. And mm -hmm. it was thin. And um, by the plot, it was supposed to be that I cut my hair off. And so my uh, lover, like whatever his name was, Eugen or from Rapunzel's like, he revives. And I took scissors and like while I was performing, I tried to cut it off, but it wasn't cutting off. And so I had to rip it off. Yeah, that's like one of the most Powerful ones. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. A random one, I must say. <laughs> Trying to put some hair. Um, we just spoke about your. Actually, I'm going to skip that question because it's also involving memories. Your top three memories, but you kind of touched on several memories there. Uh, this is a question I was thinking. Do I really want to ask this question? But I thought, why not? What is your worst memory of us? <laughs> mm, okay, let me think. Worst memory. Well, leaving, of course. Oh. Yeah. Especially last time. Because I knew that I'm probably not coming back until, like, I'm coming back as a staff member if that's happening. And so I was, like, crying. And everyone was like, don't worry. You'll come back next year. I was like, probably not. Yeah. You'll have a, a completely different experience uh, as For a staff sure. member. Because For sure. uh, a few, few of the other boss legends who've gone on to become staff members, they say they prefer the experience as a, as a member of staff. I don't know why. Um, it, I mean, I enjoy it. Everyone, I hope, all of the staff enjoy it. Um, enjoy it, but I think, like, student staff, I don't know, because I've never experienced being a student of boss, but they, they always say they prefer to be yeah. of staff. I don't know why. I think it's more like you still have fun because you still participate in all the activities, yeah. but you also have, like, kind of, like I don't know how staff have it, but probably like a limited Wi-Fi. I'm not sure. Uh, and like yeah. all of the perks. Yes, days off. Like when you can go to London. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. What are your top three tips for people who have never been to Boss? Mm, okay. Pack, pack um, stuff that like you can like jackets that you can um, put on in the morning and then take off in the afternoon because it gets like really cold in the morning and then it gets really hot in the afternoon or like not really hot but the weather changes drastic so yeah pack in a way like layers so you can take them off um second one um, like bring decorations if you can for your room because um then you can win the best room and it's always the best feeling when uh, they announce that Neil announces that uh, you have the best room on campus, really nice. Well, that is so hard for me. It's not nice for me because I go <laughs> all of the rooms, 200 students, I don't know exactly how many bedrooms, seven times 30, what's that? Uh, 22, 210, 30. Listen, we're in the English business here, not the maths business, whatever. 130 bedrooms yeah. and everyone often is perfect so yeah. it's so difficult and I feel so guilty because I know somebody else had a perfect room and I'm like I choose this person oh yeah. it's uh, my life difficult to do that so sure. uh, codes bring yeah. decorations number three but that's why I bring decorations so you can decorate on the first day while no one is prepared and so you get the best room on the first day yeah a uh, third one is um have fun because um, I was really scared to play capture the flag. Uh, oh. In the first time, the first year? First, second, third. <laughs> well, first, I don't think we played capture the flag first year. I'm not sure. I don't think so. But I might be wrong. I might be wrong. I think it was second. I can't remember exactly what possible. But I also had like health precautions that those years. So I also couldn't, but like I was also scared. And then I think third or fourth time, 
I, I went to play, even though I was like really scared, but I picked a position not to run, but to protect my territory. And I had so much fun. And I was like, oh my God, I just like, even though you're scared, try new stuff. I think that that's the best tip. Yeah, I think that's a good tip, not just for summer school, but for, yeah. you know, then you become a little bit stronger because mentally, because you tried something you were afraid of, and then you want to try something a bit more scary, and eventually it's like, I don't fear anything. Uh, sure. Finish this sentence. Where's the sentence? <laughs> <laughs> you know you're at boss when? Mm, you're surrounded by great people. What kind of people? Um, they can help you mm -hmm. if you need to, if you ask for help. Um, they are... It's like, it's hard to explain, like, kids wise, um, just also like helping you out in terms of like team and um, kind of supporting each other. I remember second year, I was upset, like first three days homesick. Mm -hmm. And um, I had a roommate, Anna Sophia, and sometimes we still keep in touch. I, I still keep in touch with a lot of people. And I just remember, cause she was from Mexico and she was, comforting me and she was saying like don't cry don't be upset imagine like i'm from the other continent and you were just like you know three hours away and it's just nice to be always supported then um how students and staff members wise it's um it's hard to explain because on the one hand it's people who you have fun with but on the other hand they still have kind of the the power over you but it doesn't feel like it's you know scary power it just that they, you know you know what I mean, like yeah, like um, tutor, somebody who is kind yeah. of there to help you, but also like friend, a big sister, yeah, brother. yeah. So you know, especially like I remember when I was um, in Kipling or Wells House, so more like uh, you know for older people, older people for more yeah older girls. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, went through, you went through three promotions through the young house to the middle house to the old house. <laughs> exactly, exactly, and I just remember like sitting in the lounge. Uh, talking with Victoria and um, it was uh, our house tutor and it was just always so nice like it felt like home a uh, second home for me good good and I hope it will be a second home for you again next year sure. so in my in my heart always a second home for me good more than America yeah for sure <laughs> what is better than America <laughs> um, kind of last question in your opinion what are the advantages of coming to bus? Mm, okay. First one, you learn English much better. Um, whatever level you come in, obviously being realistic, if you're coming absolute beginner, you can get out like fluent, even if you come for seven weeks. But one thing for sure is that you'll start speaking much more because um, you're still in the environment where you have to speak English. You have to um, ask for help or... Uh, tell a story to get house points and uh, you still like speak English, you hear English. And so I just remember that when I came first year, I was a beginner, um, but I wasn't like, I had pretty good English for my age, but I wasn't speaking that much. And when I left, first time I only came for two weeks. And when I left, I was like speaking all the time at home, all the time, just speaking English. Like, I just fell in love with English and it really helped me a lot. So I think that one of the advantages is that you will definitely uh, start speaking more English and it will help you be more confident with your English. Second one, um, you will get international friends and that's amazing because it's like such a, um, you submerge in so many cultures mm -hmm. and on one hand you were like in England and so you see like Buckingham Palace and Big Ben and uh, you know, excursions, that's a big part. I, I love cultural stuff. Can I interrupt you? Oh, yeah, for sure. Talking about friends, what do you think about this friend? One moment, please. Uh, amazing, absolutely stunning Maya, my best friend. And like when I say my best friend, I really do mean it. So we met in 2007, no, 16. 16? Yeah. So Neil matched us as roommates, best decision ever. We're friends and she comes to me I don't know, probably she would come this summer, if not COVID. 
but she came to Russia two times and we're just calling each other all the time, text, like she's my best friend. I, yeah. I remember that kind of, um, because room selection is kind of a bit random. It's like, okay, these guys are the same age, they're from different countries, they don't speak the same language, let's put them together. And I remember, I didn't know Maya in the beginning, but I remember I knew you, so I was like, ah, oh, Ina's great. And I remember going copy paste, putting these two names together, Maya and Ina. And um, or maybe I did meet Maya in Poland before she came to Boston. I can't mm. remember exactly. I mean, maybe. She was applying for an, not applying, but like going through an agency, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I often think to myself how something so random can become something so wonderful, you know what I mean? For like sure. two, two random names, these people don't know each other. Oof. Yeah. Because I, I also remember it was... Um, registration process and it was in the schoolhouse like there's a uh you know a night in ours the table and everything i remember you telling me oh uh you have such a wonderful roommate she's so nice her english is so good um maya she's from poland and i was obviously a little bit nervous because every year you know you're a little bit nervous who your roommate is and i just remember coming and like we started talking and she helped me a lot to meet new people because sometimes i'm a little bit shy to meet new people mm -hmm. and um she i remember um she um, um she was talking to lucrezzi and francesca and they went only once but we became yeah. like friends also and just in my my it's just amazing it's amazing it's great amazing decision yeah. neil to put us together <laughs> yeah random random um finally can you please tell us a little bit about your business Yes. Um, actually, fun story. I had my first business also in Batsuit. Maya and I, uh, Maya was like, hey, Aina, do you know this life hack? You can like clean sneakers. I'm not going to say with what because it's our business secret, but uh, she was like, let's, <laughs> let's, let's clean the, the sneakers. And we were like sitting and cleaning the sneakers. And I was like, oh, what if we start like cleaning sneakers for money? And uh, yeah, it was our first uh, venture together. Maya's and Ina's cleaning shoe company. I'm but just now trying, I'm just looking uh, for it on, on Instagram, but I can't find it. Yeah, you still follow us. <laughs> yeah. You need to make more posts. Sorry, yes, we do. we do. But um but we, we're growing, you know. I remember we had the t shirts first day we put them on, like <laughs> yeah. Uh, logo everything was really official but your, your room became the headquarters. Yes, exactly. We had the logo on our door. But uh, now we're expanding a little bit, getting into educational business. Um, I, this summer, I founded um, an online language school called Lingbeast, because Ling, it's a, like a, a Latin root, Ling, like from language. And then Beast is a, like a beast when you know, you're doing something. Yeah, like beast, you're really so Lingbeast. And um, Maya is helping me out a lot because we are, uh, I name her head of people, so she helps with people, like finding people, nice. employees, and um, she is um, head of uh, English department and Polish and ancient Greek and Latin. She's super smart, and um, yeah, we're teaching on um, on Zoom. This Zoom amazing thing, um, yeah, languages, and actually that's also how Boxer helped me because recently we got Alba. Do, do you remember Alba from Spain? From Spain? Yeah, yeah, now she's responsible for Spanish. So like, yeah. yeah. She's great, Alba. She was, I keep saying last summer, like it was this summer, 2000, yeah. because there's a big void. But yeah, I remember like last summer, Alba, yeah, she was always around in Wells House um, with the, with the, there was a good group of girls. Yeah. yeah. Girls um, from, yeah, uh, Paola, Tessie, and all mm -hmm. of you guys, they were all tight group last, last summer. So, um, how can people find out about Lingbeast? Uh, our Instagram or our website, and we're actually going to run a contest with, sponsored by Boxwood, uh, for a free trip to Boxwood. Yeah. Do you have information about the competition? Uh, not yet. We're going to discuss it more. Watch this space. <laughs> yes. We'll post more information about uh, Ling Beast. We'll put the Instagram below and the competition as well when we have more information. Finally, 
Anything you want to say? We're going to wrap this up now. Uh, any final words? What's your closing statement? <laughs> go to boss. Go there. Even if you're scared, go. You're not going to regret it. That's my final statement. Help me a lot in life. I wouldn't be who I am today without Boxwood. It's not, not um, an overstatement. Yes. <laughs> Aina, thank you. Thank you very, thank very you. much. Thank uh, you. Let's keep in touch and hopefully I'll see you next summer. On the other side, as a member of staff. Yes. Yes. Bye. Bye.